The bone of contention in the political sphere at the moment is the decision made by President Mohamed Buhari to pick Loretta Onochie, a member of the All Progressives Congress, as an INEC commissioner. The controversy is heightened by the fact that she also serves as a personal aide to the president. The challenge is... Human rights group Yaga Africa, along with others like it, reject the plan, describing it as a travesty to democratic principles. Mrs. Loretta does not meet the constitutional requirement of being non-partisan, as defined by Section 156 Sub 1A of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. She is not only a special assistant to the president on social media, she is also a card-carrying member of the ruling All Progressive Congress. She has built a partisan reputation by her biased and sometimes inflammatory comments on national issues and against perceived or imagined enemies of the Buhari administration. Before now, the leadership of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has spoken against the appointment and how it could affect the democratic process. Period President Muhammad Buhari to rise above sentiment and do the needful, go by the constitution as president of Nigeria and not president of APC to withdraw the nomination of Loretta Onochi in the interest of this country. We must be seen to be doing what will consolidate our gains in the electoral process, not what will obviously put us in a reverse gear. Determined to escalate the issue further and not mind in the rain, stalwarts of the PDP led by the chairman of the party stormed the National Assembly to air their frustration over the issue. Distinguished senators, members of House of Representatives, leaders of our party that are here, the youths and the women. We, represent them. we are here on this protest this day to make the final point of total me. rejection I to take my of Lorita Anoche. This letter will be presented immediately, right now, to the city president. A copy will also be given to uh, the Senator Gaia, the chairman on INEC, and uh, I can reassure you that justice will be done. As the matter goes on, it's left to see just how much pressure those opposing the move can put on the president to rescind the decision.